Westpac Stadium in Wellington, affectionately known as the Caketon, and the scene of one of the most disappointing nights of Springbok rugby history when they lost to Australia in the quarterfinals of Rugby World Cup here in 2011. Better memories are hoped for this coming Saturday night when Springbok captain Jean de Villiers makes his 100th test appearance. His wife and father are in town for the fixture and the tributes have come pouring in. The biggest accolade I can give him is that I've got three boys and I'll be, I'll be so blessed if my kids can grow up to be human beings like him. Uh, first of all, before rugby, uh, he's a superb human being and um, I think he's there to make a difference in people's lives. And uh, what I've got respect for him before I start even start talking about his, his rugby knowledge is that uh, he always makes time for the juniors. He's always the first guy there to, to welcome the youngsters into the team, but he always takes time from, you know, with the elder players as well. It is fantastic to be here. I mean, it took me to come around around the world, basically. It took me about two days to get here, but I'm very proud of him and I'm very glad for his sake. Uh, you know, after his first hit, we never thought he was going to get to his second, but yeah, to, to, to get to 100, it's a, it's a heck of a thing. You know, I replaced John to get my first test cap back in 2004 at England when he got injured in that game, and um, we've had a great journey together, um, from going on to play our 50th test matches together down in Durban against the All Blacks back in 2009. Uh, to playing a lot of our, you know, our rugby force spring box together. So, you know, to see how he's continuously bounced back from probably very tough injuries to become one of the most respected players and leaders in world rugby is a, a truly remarkable characteristic for someone I believe that's a, a really great South African. He's the most grounded and um, committed person that I know and no one deserves more glory on Saturday than him. Um, we we definitely couldn't be more proud of him and um, I wish the world could really know John as we know him because he is one incredible person. I can remember my first Primark jersey that, that my parents bought me and um, you know, to see that and, and to, you know, just to experience it and even though no one, you know, it wasn't an official jersey of, 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 of one of the, the players, it was just it was just so sacred and so so great and so um, valuable to me. And uh, um, you know, before before rugby turned professional, uh, when when um, when friends came over, my parents' friends came over, and they would ask me, oh, what, what do you want to do one day?" You know, it was never, "No, I want to be a doctor or this or that." It was always, "No, I'm going to play rugby." Yeah, it's obvious. Then, fortunately, rugby did turn professional, and I, you know, I got that opportunity. So, um, yes, I, I still, I still see myself as the, you know, little kid looking at Donny Cheb and Nas Puerta and, and all those guys playing uh, and wanting their autographs uh, and just dreaming about about uh, about being that guy and you know now I'm yeah I'm, I'm living that dream and um, and still enjoying it so much so just so fortunate and, and, and very very happy and, and humbled by the opportunity that I got and uh, the people that's been in my life and um, you know hopefully the hopefully the journey is not finished yet hopefully there's still um, a couple of highlights left in that uh, in that journey